Hi everyone, it's Jen and Elisa with Captivated by Him and today we're here again to get you even more hyped for this women's conference that we have called Emotions, A Biblical View and it's happening from April 9th to 11th and once again, it is a virtual conference. So wherever you are, no excuses. If you're a woman, come and join us. Yes, and it's going to be such a fruitful time to be thinking about how we can handle emotions biblically in a way that is going to honor the Lord. And this is just such a relevant and applicable topic for all women, because what woman doesn't struggle with emotions? There's so many things in the world to be leered by emotionally. So we want to think about how we can be biblically approaching emotions. Yes, for sure. And for this conference, I actually got to have a lot of fun being in this little promo video that you guys are going to be able to watch right now. Um, and it will just go to show how important it is to have self-control over our emotions. And hopefully you'll get a little laugh out of it as well. So without further ado, here it is. <laughs> I can't believe Lauren did the Facebook breakup cleanse again. I think that's twice this month. What a loser. At least she makes me feel happier with my life. <laughs> These dog adoption videos just ruin my life. One day, I'll have a huge mansion where I can bring all the lost dogs in and house them and feed them and there won't ever be another lost, homeless, suffering dog again. I work out two hours every day. Why can't I have actress abs? <sighs> I hope the next time this chick goes to get her belly fat sucked out that the cellulite vacuum accidentally sucks out her liver too. Wow, Fabio's what I call a real man. I just love him and I'm gonna marry him one day. I can't believe my professor didn't post the assignment until Friday. Now I have to cancel my weekend plans and I still don't think I can get it all done in time. Are you controlled by your emotions? What do your emotions and your reactions to the outside world mean about you? What should your emotions be like in the first place? We would all benefit greatly if we understood emotions and looked at them from a biblical view. I remember when I first saw this video, it had me dead in stitches <laughs> laughing when I saw Steph talking about those sad little puppies. It was hilarious. Yeah, no, I totally know what you mean. And it was so hard when we were filming too, not to laugh when Sabrina was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so if you thought this video was fun, just wait until you get to our conference because it's going to be that much more fun. And not just fun, but also substantial since talking about emotions is such a necessary thing these days for women. So we can unload that burden of being leered by these worldly emotions that look to ourselves, but instead we can think about how we can use our emotions in a biblical way. It's really cool that we can use our emotions to build up others around us like our coworkers, like our friends, family, even our church. So we can think about how we can be utilizing these emotions biblically. It's going to be great. Yes, so once again, the dates are from April 9th to 11th and Alisa will be teaching two sessions, right? Yes, that's correct. So if you want more information, you can look at our website or even check out the description box below and you can sign up now. Yes, and I think this will be so impactful. So I'm really excited to see you there. Uh, but until then, stay, stay captivated. captivated.